So I was having a very large election day party in November because I wanted to finally show my children the face of the first female president. Clearly, that evening didn't go as planned. And so a few weeks after that, I really took a very long, hard look at what I had been doing for the last 20 years and what I wanted to do in the future. And so in December, for the very first time, I went to a local Democratic Party meeting. I had never been, and I walk into the small room at our local community center, and the organizers are running on frantic because the room is overflowing. It was completely packed. It was standing room only. And when I looked around, about 75% of the people there were women. And a large majority of us were there for the very first time. I think many of us didn't really know what we wanted to do. We just knew that we wanted to get involved and we had to do something. And after that, you know, I uh, really thought about what we're looking for in an elected official. And a lot of people have told me that they want leaders who are local, who are experienced, who are professionals, leaders who are interested in solving problems. And that is what I have been doing for the last 20 years right here in my community. You know, as a prosecutor working in uh, therapeutic courts, working in the schools with our children, and the issues that we're dealing with are mental health, criminal justice, education, the issues that I've been working on for the last 20 years. So for me, running for this position is really me stepping up and trying to take some responsibility for what's going on in our state and in our country. So unfortunately, in the state of Washington, we've had lawsuits that are telling our legislators that they're not fully funding education. A public education system is the foundation of our democracy. It is where every single child has an opportunity to succeed. And especially what's going on at the federal level, it is crucial that we are fully funding education. We're having individualized plans for each child so they can be successful. So I am looking forward to making sure we're fully funding education. We've had a lot of environmental bills that have died in the Senate because our Republican-controlled Senate hasn't let them come for a vote. So I'm really looking forward to making sure that we are investing in clean energy, green technology, and protecting our environment. And this again is extremely crucial given what's going on around the country with our hurricanes and our fires but also because of the cuts that are coming to the EPA from the National Administration. So those two um, issues are definitely going to be very impactful. Of course, we have healthcare right behind that. We also have um, issues regarding immigration and hate crimes and making sure we're standing up and making the state of Washington a safe place. You know, people nationally look at the state of Washington and assume it's a very blue state because we have our attorney general out there fighting the Trump agenda. We have our governor out there doing it. And so people are always surprised to learn that we actually do not have progressive policies coming out of Olympia because the Senate is controlled by the Republicans. So this is actually going to be huge for our state and it's gonna be huge for the West Coast. And my hope really is that by flipping the state, we can really be this beacon of light for the rest of the country to really show them what a progressive state can look like. And so I'm looking forward to our state leading in that regard.